All right, so I want you guys to see this video. It's crazy, uh, but a lot of you might not even have an explanation for what I'm about to show you. All right, Wilson Sasha, Dynadio C4 Platinums. All right, speaker cables, Merrill Audio, card is clear, audio be on. Okay. Right now, what I have connected is Wireworld Interconnects, Platinum 8s, and the Merrill Audio Speaker Cables. Right now, everything is idling. The amplifier is in that setting, which I'm not going to touch. So it's idling right now, right? It's on. The Wilsons are connected. You guys hear no noise of any kind. Right? Any noise? Nothing. Pretty dead silent. All right, so watch what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna pause it because I'm gonna change speaker cables. All right, so bear with me while I do this madness. So I muted it and I'm gonna do this now. Taking the speaker off, I'm gonna plug in on the left Binding post, okay, the card is. One in, another in, and I'm gonna do the other one. Well, I'm gonna do one speaker at a time. So I want you guys to hear it. All right, take this off. Pretty simple, nothing out of the ordinary. No, just it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna take it out of mute. Pretty quiet. All right, so this is the speaker that has the card. Is right, right channel. Very quiet. Nothing, and this one still has the Merrill audio, so that hasn't changed, right? Still connected. All right, so you're gonna laugh your ass off right now, but I'm going to put this back on mute, okay? Then I'm gonna do the other speaker. I'm not doing anything funny, I'm literally going speaker into binding post all right pretty good Just in case all right so it's pretty good all right we'll do the same thing here all right closing okay same thing right into here into there all right, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna take it out on mute now. Left channel. Nothing on the right channel. If you hear the background with the noise, it's because it's the left speaker. Okay, so I thought maybe that left speaker cable is busted or bad or it's got a bad solder. Cool. All right. I'm going to put it here and I'm just going to change these, right? I want to see if when I connect the right speaker into the left, the problem continues on the other speaker, right? Because now I'm using the right speaker. So I'm just going to connect one speaker for now. Here. So the problem follows the binding post on the left, right? So I'm thinking something's wrong because the left side of the amplifier is just acting up now. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna mute it. All right, I'm gonna put everything back with the same cables that I have been using. I'm gonna use 
this and this all I'm doing is putting back the carters the way they were all right guys carters right all right still on mute but now I'm going to take out the Wilsons I'm gonna use the dyne audio all right Dying audio. And dying audio, right? Cool. Dying audio's in. Dying audio. And dying audio. Now, I want to make sure you guys see that it's connected. All right, so there's no trickery there. Everything's connected. All right? And I want to show you the other speaker cable as well. One more time so you guys make sure it is connected. All right? I'm not trying to play any tricks. Here we go. Voila. No noise. They're quiet. Okay. And I already took it out of mute. No mute. This is mute. Not mute. Nothing. Not a peep, not a noise, nothing. Okay, technical guys. Why in the world <laughs> do I get buzzing with the Wilsons and Griffin? Not with the Dynadios. I was thinking the amplifier must have something wrong. But I just proved to you all there's nothing wrong with the amp. Otherwise, I would get the buzzing sound. Why? Go ahead. See, give me some comments. Explain it to me. Why am I getting this issue when I do Griffin, Cardas, Wilson, not with Dynaudio? Why is that? I can't figure it out. First, I thought it was the amp. Then I thought the speaker cable, and I just showed you that it's not the speaker cable because the problem doesn't, it continues to happen with regardless of what speaker cable I use. And the amp seems to have zero issues. Nothing, not hissing, not nothing when I plug in the Dyn audios. So why is this happening only with the Wilson audios? All right, so if any of you guys have had an issue like this, similar to this, I want to hear about it. Did you resolve it? Again, I've tried everything you can imagine, but as you can see, it's got nothing to do with my room. It's got nothing to do with my power, or I would be getting the same issue with the Dyn audios, right? I would get the same problem with the Dyn audios. If there was an issue with power or a ground loop or something, the Nadius will have the same problem. That's not the case. All right, so let me know your thoughts below. I want to know what you guys think is going on. Right now, the only thing I can think of is the Griffin Cardis Clear Audio Beyond Speaker Cables and Wilson Audio do not get along. That's the only explanation I have. Um, maybe the speaker is putting a different load on the amplifier. I don't know. I mean, I'm not an engineer. I couldn't tell you with technical terms. Um, but right now, I can't figure it out. All right, give me your thoughts below. Let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe.